Chapter 38 of Jane Eyre begins with the famous line, Reader, I married him. Mary and Diana are pleased about Jane's marriage and plan to visit. St. John never mentions Jane's marriage, but he continues to write to her now and then. Jane finds a boarding school nearby for Adele, who often comes to visit. Ten years after marrying Rochester, Jane writes that they are happier and closer than ever. They have a son, and Rochester has regained partial sight. Diana and Mary are both happily married. St. John Rivers, who followed his missionary path, never married. He writes to Jane that he expects to be called soon to his sure reward. He is dying. Chapter 38 is the only one that has a title, Conclusion. Bronte might be playing with multiple meanings of the word. Not only does the chapter conclude the work, but perhaps she, through Jane, is offering conclusions about the novel's meaning for the reader to consider. Rochester finally receives his redemption, as indicated by the restoration of his sight and the birth of a son. Of course, he had to suffer a physical wound for that to happen, and he will bear the scar for the rest of his life. But he is a happier and a better man than ever before. Jane has the love and the family that she has always craved, maintaining a high degree of independence. Adele's path reflects on Jane's early life. She was unhappy at the first school where she was placed. No longer powerless, Jane uses her authority to benefit others. Some critics see Rochester's injury as a symbolic castration, an injury that limits his potent masculinity and therefore makes him more acceptable to the proto-feminist Bronte as a mate for her heroine. Rochester's blindness fits into a long tradition of characters who see more clearly after they lose sight. Rochester, blinded, has seen the error of his ways. Jane succeeds in finding a physician who can partly restore his sight. That is, it is through her that he can see more clearly. That the last words are given to St. John and suggest his acceptance of his impending death solidifies the novel's religious theme. St. John exemplifies the Christian virtues that Bronte cherishes, faith in God, trust in forgiveness, and humility.